Remember when I said this? So HP says that Nimble Storage DHGI is for mixed workloads at scale. Now let's put those words to a test. Or actually, HPE put them to a test already. They ran an array of tests against HPE Electro DHGI in a Microsoft environment. And the results are in. Let's take a closer look. Hello, if we haven't met yet, my name is Markus Leinen and this is the place where we talk all about enterprise technologies from theory to real-life stress tests. Glad to see you joined us. So, there's a new white paper by HPE, HPE Electro DHCI and Mixed Applications that digs deep into HPE Electro DHCI performance, focusing on various mixed workload scenarios. I will add the link to the PDF and to the related blog post down below. I found the results quite fascinating and wanted to give you a short overview to their findings. Fasten your seatbelts, because this is going to be a tad more technical than my usual videos. Now, before we begin, a few words about the test setup. The lab tests were run on HPE Allegro DHCI, which consisted of three HPE ProLiant servers, HPE Allegro 6070 All Flash Storage Array and VMware vSphere environment. The tests focused on Microsoft application environment, but more importantly, according to HPE, the results can be generalized to all other workloads too, such as Oracle. The tests included three different types of very typical Microsoft workloads used in enterprises. Online Transaction Processing or OLTP, Online Analytical Processing or OLAP, and Exchange Workloads. Everything was, of course, carefully configured according to HPE, VMware and Microsoft best practices. If you want to know more about the configuration and setup, there is a ton of detailed information in the white paper. HPE used two different tools to stress these apps. HammerDB is one of the leading database benchmarking and load testing tools and was used to help characterize the solution. On the other hand, Microsoft Exchange Jet Stress was used to simulate the Exchange workload. Again, all details about HammerDB and Jet Stress setup can be found from the white paper. But enough of the test setup already, let's move to the test results, shall we? HPE ran three different tests. Application placement, combined email and SQL server OLTP workload, and finally combined email SQL server OLTP and SQL server OLAP workloads. First, application placement, which plays a major role when optimizing performance. We know that, but look at this chart, how important it actually is. In the first step, one exchange instance is started on one host, and it has all the host resources at its disposal. This is illustrated with the cyan line here. Then, another exchange instance is started on the same host. This is the orange line. Now, those two instances are competing for the same host server's resources. This leads into a situation where the first exchange instance's performance drops to almost half, since it needs to give up resources for the other exchange. In the last phase, the second exchange instance is moved to another host, and as we can see here, now both instances enjoy the maximum performance again. By the way, the black line in all these graphs illustrate the combined resource usage of all app instances. Next, combined email and SQL server OLTP workload test. So first, one exchange and one SQL server OLTP instance is started on one host. Then another pair of exchange and SQL server OLTP instances are started on another node. Then at steps 3 and 4, the SQL server OLTP instance from the second node, the orange line, is migrated to a third node. Here you can see the benefit of adding just a compute node into the DHCI stack. Storage is nowhere near a bottleneck in these cases, even with mixing demanding workloads. And finally, combined email, SQL Server OLTP and SQL Server OLAP workloads. In the first phase, two host servers are both running two apps, one SQL Server OLTP instance and one exchange instance. The black line here illustrates combined resource usage of all four applications. Next, an SQL Server OLAP instance is spun up on one of the hosts. This is a very typical noisy neighbor situation where a non-business critical application is heavily disturbing the production performance. To mitigate this, in phase 3, a VM storage policy is applied to the SQL Server OLAP data disk, limiting throughput to 1000 megabytes per second. This restores the production performance to an acceptable level. 
In the final step, one SQL Server OLTP instance is migrated to a third host, further increasing the production performance beyond the performance of original situation with only two hosts. Now, these tests underline the impressive performance and consistent latency of HPE Electra DHCI in mixed workload situations, as well as the power of independent scalability of compute and storage resources. And just as a reminder, these tests were done with Microsoft workloads, but they are representation of any mixed workload situation with HPE Electra DHCI. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button, and if you want more of these videos, subscribe. See you with the next video.